Hi Capricorn, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I want to thank everyone for stopping by to watch a video today. Let's get started with your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The first card that popped out is your mutual energy is the Eight of Cups. Capricorn, that's Pisces energy. Looks like the two of you have walked away from each other or at least taken a break. The current mutual energy is the Two of Swords. There's a thorny issue that you guys are not speaking about. It looks like you tried to, and it looks like both of you are pretty wound up, pretty upset. Your partner, though, sees you as a rock star. Your person feels very much that you are their wish fulfillment, Capricorn. This is Aquarius energy. We have Two of Swords as Libra energy, and the Eight of Cups is Pisces. But... What we're seeing here is like a disagreement. Somebody, both of you walked away from each other. These are mutual energies. And both of you are mad enough at each other not to want to talk about it. When we look at your person of interest, we're getting the Aquarius card. Your person holds high hopes for you to be able to resolve this conflict. They see you as their wish fulfillment. Your person loves you. They love you inside, outside. They think you're beautiful. To them, you are a rock star. You are you are somebody that they want to hold on to. They feel as though you're, you are very important to them. You're the only person they want to be with. Capricorn, how does your person view you? <clears throat> We see them, they view you as a person who really keeps tabs on equal give and take. They feel as though you're watching very carefully who gives what, when they give it, is it equal. They, they feel as though you're a little obsessed with balance. They do see, the, they understand it, they definitely do. The world card says that your person is feels as though you have been the best relationship that they've ever had, that they've achieved more with you uh, in terms of love than they've achieved with others. But the world card right now speaks to the fact that the two of you, they want for the two of you to start a new cycle. They definitely want to be able to speak truth. The Ace of Swords energy is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It's all about enlightenment. And it's also reconciliation, coming back to get clarity. What is the mutual energy here? What is the mutual energy between you and your person, Capricorn? What is the mutual energy? You're both very defensive, but you have fire in your belly. You're both protecting yourselves. But you both want the relationship. The Nine of Wands energy is you still, your heart burns very brightly for each other. You still want to be on this crusade. You want to solve the issues. You want to solve the problems. You have fire in your belly to do that. You have not given up at this point in time. What is Spirit recommending you do? Let's see, what is Spirit recommending? Stay logical, stay grounded, don't get ahead of yourself. What I'm, whenever I get the Page of Pentacles, that energy speaks to the fact that the relationship, there's not enough known. It's premature to make a decision right now. The, you know, the two of you need to be much more like team-oriented. Spirit says that right now both of you are, appear to be acting in an immature way, not, not like, oh no, you're being so immature, it's just more spiritually that you need to, you know, you need to, to get over sort of some bad attitudes here, that some of what's going on right now is this Four of Cups energy, which is Cancerian energy, it really speaks to the fact that this may not, it just seems that both of you are stuck, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. I'm not, I see Capricorn, but it appears, at least on the surface, that your person may have more intense feelings for you than they do, than you do for them. You know, whatever happened here, what caused the Eight of Cups? What caused the two of you to walk away? The Devil card reversed and the Three of Coins reversed. You couldn't agree on something. You both wanted your way. You both said my way or the highway. And so you both took the highway because neither of you got your way. Okay. 
the Two of Swords, that's sort of like, I don't want to hear about it. That's my final word. What I'm getting here is that one of you may have been married, or you, one of you may be married, and your person is really wanting to have that relationship with you. They want to have a very good relationship with you, and it looks as though you are not interested in a divorce. I feel as though, now for those of you who are not married, it also shows that your person is really in it to win it, not so much with you. But there was a time when both of you thought this was going to go someplace. Now, for those of you who are married to this person and you're in separation, it looks as though, Capricorn, that you are bearing some grudge. You are really measuring what this person gave and what they didn't give. And I get that. That was what made you decide to walk away and give up the ghost on this. How does your person feel in their heart space? What's the clarifier for the world card? The two of wands. You didn't choose them. Your person feels as though you didn't choose them and that they had no choice but to walk away from the situation. Why is the Ace of Swords here for you, Capricorn? The Hierophant, okay. So again, marriage is in the way. I'm not seeing the third party cards, but it very clearly shows me that you're not on the same page in terms of your expectations having been met in the relationship. You're not really using, using your intuition. That's Cancerian energy. You're more both caught up in your emotions and what should have been. The argument looks like it's been going on for a while. You still haven't released. Your person hasn't really released you, though. The mutual energy. Here's the Page of Swords. You're still spying on each other. You still want to talk to each other, Capricorn. You really do. It's like you're... It's just like you can't resolve this desire. The Ace of Cups is reversed. Spirit is saying, make a plan. Come up with something. Be more um, creative. Be more, you know, be more invested at a practical level. Six of Pentacles reversed. Still no equal give and take. That looks Capricorn like you. You just feel, I think for many of you, you just feel like it's time to give up the ghost. It looks as though you love this person, and it looks as though very much that this King of Cups energy is that you did love them, but, you know, this thing has been turned on its head. Let's go around again. Why do we have the Devil card here? Why is the Devil card here? The Devil card reversed. Uh, you both tried to manipulate each other. You thought you were being defensive, but actually this walk away is kind of more like, well, I'll show you. So there's a, there's some ego here, but I don't really, I mean, it looks like you care about each other, but it just looks like it. it's just really tough energy. Let's see. We do have a retrograde going on. Okay, so let's stop here. Let's look at Wisdom of the Oracle. I don't want to flog. <laughs> I don't want to flog this horse. Um, I feel badly for both of you. It looks like it's been a very painful situation for both of you, Capricorn. So the wisdom of the oracle, please give us advice for Capricorn on this love situation, which both has you all up in your head, feeling sad, a leg up. You need to help each other. You need to help each other understand what's going on. We get, imagine you need to be creative in the way you solve problems together. You know, instead of sort of getting stuck in the moment, getting stuck in, well, you didn't give me this. And it looks like there were a lot of, uh, it's almost like you were both keeping score. You know, it looks like you were both keeping score. And when one of you didn't live up to the other one's expectation, it looks as though chop wood, you both just said, ha, forget it. But the devil card upright is somebody who wants to be right, wants to be in control. Reversed, it says that you both have that tendency, but you, you gave it up for this relationship. Happy, happy. Okay. So happy, happy is how you felt at the beginning. 
serendipity. You might have met each other very unexpectedly. Okay. So let's look and see what the messages of love are for the two of you. What are the love messages for Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, what should you do about this relationship? If anything, what are the messages? Okay, we're going to take those. All right, so the messages for you, Capricorn, are this person is emotionally unavailable. There are children in the picture. Intuitively, you know that you really can't support this. You see this as a spiritual lesson, and you are releasing them. Release, release is the outcome for you. And those are the messages from Spirit. That Spirit saying, you know what, it's just as well to you know, cut your losses. It doesn't look like there was any place for you to go. But I like to continue and see what the sacred destiny oracle has to say for you in this situation, this relationship. I am going to also look at shadow work here, shadow energy. Um, I feel that both of you really wanted this in many ways, and yet it's like you couldn't bring it together. Now, clearly, if there's another marriage, you know, if there's a marriage, if this is a third-party situation, it just shows that there was no way to resolve it as far as you were concerned. Adventures, okay. So the sacred destiny is saying this was one of life's adventures, okay. Sometimes people are around for a season instead of long term or reason, right? Let's see. Inner peace. Okay. So you're not really a good match here. What I'm seeing is that you are good at having adventures together. You are good at having fun together. You are good in certain ways, but as a practical matter, the relationship looks as though, yeah, the truth and relaxation. So what we're seeing here is the truth of the matter is that this was never meant to be a long-term relationship. I don't like to say that because I know that some of you will feel very upset by that. Um, I am going to look at shadow work. It does say that both of you are in a state of relaxation, that you're not really, you're not putting a lot of energy into this. You're both sort of sleeping on the job. I do feel it's mutual, but I do feel as though it's very frustrating for you. I feel as though, you know, there was a lot of potential in this relationship. And it didn't seem to go anywhere. So let's look and see what the shadow... Um, and wait a minute. I'm going to use the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. So as a mutual energy, what did the two of you have going on here that precluded this? A shadow of the past. Oh, shadow work needs to be done. For this relationship, it looks like you triggered each other. A shadow, The shadow past, it also indicates that you may have done or done things that you you really feel you shouldn't have done. If it was a third party situation, this can really indicate guilt. But it also has a twin flame energy. Oh, excuse me, five and eight, one, three. Oh yeah, 14 temperance. So when we look at the energy of the shadow past, it really looks as though you came together to learn a lesson. You know, a very strong sort of a soulmate kind of energy, the dreaming. You weren't very realistic with each other. This was sort of a fantasy, more of a dream relationship. Something that couldn't seem to get its feet, get grounded. It doesn't look like anybody meant to hurt anybody. Oh, here we go. This is a shadow. Both of you have a story and you both keep repeating it. This is mushrooms. How do mushrooms grow? In the dark, the shadow and with manure, right? So BS. So it does look like the lesson or the takeaway here is to do some shadow work, Capricorn. The question you have is, is to really understand yourself at a deeper level. It does look like this person triggered you, you triggered this person. What does Capricorn need to know? The joy of the future, yay! So whatever happened here, Capricorn, Spirit is saying, don't be sad, that this is okay, that you are here to learn a lesson, you know, you learned the lesson, um, 
that, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to, this is going to trigger your shadow work. It's going to make you look at yourself and see what your past is. And let's see what lessons we have or what information we have with a shadow deck called the El Goliath Tarot. What is it that Spirit wants you to know? Be bold, be brave, take the risk, take the leap of faith. Be all in on your love relationship that is next up. Ugh. Seven of Swords, beware of the person who is dishonest. Beware of the predators, basically what that means. There is a snake eating eggs. Well, snakes eat eggs. That's how they feed themselves. But it looks as though there was some sort of predatory energy in which this person lied to you. They wanted something from you, and you shouldn't have given it to them. And it'll be different for everybody. However you see this, this is like the Roar Shark ink blot test. It'll be unique to each one of you, but you need to be away from this person. This would not be a long-term uh, good outcome for you. This person looks as though they were very caught up in, you know, in ulterior motives, whether it would just be fun, whether it's something that they were unaware of. I don't think this person meant to hurt you, but boy, they had no worries about it. I just think that this person grew up in a very, maybe a very sort of negative history, and they were willing to go where they wanted to go to get what they needed, what they thought they needed. So I do think that a bullet has been dodged for you, Capricorn. It's not fun to end a reading like that, but that's what it is for this week. Stay tuned for next week. It's different every week. All right, so thank you so much, Capricorn. I hope that was helpful. Leave comments, please. I don't know. Wow, I just want to know more about this reading and if it impacted you. Okay, bye-bye.